For this lesson, you need two sheets of white paper, a ruler, pencil and eraser. Uh, color pencils are recommended, but if you don't have those, you can use markers or crayons. A black permanent marker like a Sharpie and scissors and glue. Let's get started. Today we are going to draw some flowers inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe's flower paintings. She loved to zoom in on the flowers and draw every single detail and draw them really magnified and large. And sometimes you only saw part of the flower, sometimes you saw the whole flower. So I want you to take a look at these and kind of get an idea of how you can draw yours. So I am starting in the bottom corner of my paper and I wanna fit at least two large flowers on here and both of my flowers are gonna have a little part of them cut off and that's how I'm designing my art. So you decide where and uh, what kind of flower you are going to draw. I'm just drawing the basic outline of the center and the petals and then I am going to draw an insect. Just wherever you can fit it on your paper, I am drawing a bee. You can draw a dragonfly, a ladybug, a butterfly. It is totally up to you. Uh, we are going to end up cutting out our flowers and our insects. So you wanna make sure everything you're drawing is going to be large enough to cut out. And you might even change the composition. After you draw everything, I want you to get your Sharpie and outline. I am actually adding more details with my Sharpie. I am adding all the little details of the center of the flower as if I can see every little piece of pollen, right? And when I outline the petals, I am doing a double outline. I'm taking my time and making that nice and bold. After I outlined my flowers, I added lines to each petal, mimicking the veins in each petal to create sections. They're fluid and they're flowing. They're not perfect lines. And of course, we have to outline our little insect here. And then I'm coloring his black stripes in with my Sharpie as well and adding those details to the wings to show the veins in the wings and cleaning up my paper by erasing all those extra pencil lines. And now we're ready to color, but before you get started coloring, take a look at this color wheel. You are going to choose two to three colors for your flower petals that work in harmony. So they need to either be a same hue of a color or they need to be neighbors. There's other ways to create harmony with colors, but we're gonna stick with this technique for now. So you may choose a color and choose different shades or different hues of that color, or you can choose neighboring colors like violet, red, violet, red, or yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green. So I chose violet, light violet, and red violet for my flower petals, and I'm coloring in the lines each section I am alternating colors. It doesn't have to create a pattern. Just make them flow together and look beautiful, color solid and in the lines. When you are ready to color the center of the flower, pick two warm colors. Color the outside edges of the circles that you created, the details with a darker color, and then go over everything with the yellow to fill in all the white spaces. And that will create nice, um, the nice solution of form and color value. And here are my finished flowers. I love how these turned out and I'm ready to color that cute little bee of mine. I want to add color value to this guy too, so I added yellow and then I went along the edges and shaded in a darker yellow to create color value and form and also added just a little bit of gray to his wings. Let's move on to our background paper. You are going to create, create a grid on your background paper. You will need to get a ruler and measure out exactly one and a half inches on your paper if you are using a 12 by 18 paper. If you are using an eight and a half by 11 paper, you will measure out um, one inch all the way around the edges. Carefully line up your ruler and then with your Sharpie, draw your straight lines. It's really important that you check your ruler before you start drawing. So as you can see here, it is perfectly straight. It's not moving. If you are uncomfortable doing this with a Sharpie, you can try it with a pencil first and then go over it with a Sharpie. You're gonna do vertical and horizontal lines at the exact width, all the way up and down and across your paper. And it should look like this when you are done. 
Next step is to cut out your flowers and your bee carefully. And before you paste it down to your background paper, play with the composition. Move your flowers and your bee around to find what the best composition or place that each of these items should be glued down. When you're confident, glue it down. And think of a positive word that represents your new year. So I chose the word hope. I have hope that this new year is going to be wonderful. Draw it with pencil. Outline it with Sharpie very nice and neatly and bold. And then block in the boxes that are before the first letter and after the last letter with your Sharpie. And then color in several other random boxes with your Sharpie nice and neatly to make it look like a word puzzle. And here I have my Georgia O'Keeffe inspired art. My flowers, my little bee, and my inspirational word. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Bye.